I hope you guys are ready for some serious closet decluttering and organization and that is exactly what I'm going to give you in this video. As you can see from all of the pictures, this closet is in desperate need. So be sure to stay tuned to the very end of the video so that you can get all of the deets on how we're going to rearrange and set this closet up. Um, I am getting ready to clean out a much needed closet, okay? What I'm trying to do is go ahead and get this closet reorganized and get it ready for fall. It's an exciting video, plus everything that I am really using in this video, you guys, I have recycled from around my house. You know, I am a big advocate for that. I love to just shop my house to, to find, if I can, things that I can use in other areas to make it new again in that other area and this time this one is a major one so i hope you guys stay tuned to the video watch it all the way to the end to see the transformation i have no idea if it's going to look good if it's something that i'm going to have to end up redoing if it's going to be an epic fail or if it's going to be a success so you guys are going to go through it with me so i i hope you are excited for the ride i know that i am but we're getting ready to get into this because i have been putting it off for a very long time so let's do this okay all right y'all let's finally tackle this mess of a closet that i have been putting off and as you see as soon as we open the door objects start falling out that is just how bad it is i have been putting this off for forever but fall is right around the corner i need a place to be able to hang our coats and just have an organized closet where we can start putting things and yeah what this is way overdue and it is sad that i allowed something like this to happen but i'm human we all have areas in our homes that gets cluttered and a mess and that we need to tackle so if you are here for the motivation if you are here for just ideas on what you can do for your small foyer closet like I got then you are in the right place let me introduce myself hello you guys my name is Amy I am a wife I am a mom to two beautiful children I am also a furry furry friend my furry friend Drake I am a <laughs> dog mom as well and I'm also a Gigi. I work full time for a pediatric doctor's office that is Monday through Friday. Um, I work at least 40 hours a week so there is no time during the work week where I have to dedicate to things like this. So my um, weekends are full with projects um, and different things of how I go and tackle my home. My page is more so about lifestyle, uh, homemaking, DIY, and some cleaning. So if you like content like that, then you are in the right place. If you are new, welcome. I would love for you to join me on this ride. So as you can see, we are pulling things down all the way up to the tippy top of this closet. And y'all, I just need to get everything out, have a clean slate so that we can figure out how we're going to arrange this closet, how we're going to make it functional and less cluttered. So as you can see here, we got everything out. It is completely bare. So let's start working on what we got and how we're going to separate it. So I got everything pulled out of the closet and now it's all back here behind me. So what I'm going to do is go through everything, make a to keep and a throw away pal um, because there are some things in here that I know for sure that I'm not going to use and technically if it's been in that closet for as long as it's been and I haven't touched it, I'm not going to use it. So I'm not going to hold on to something that I feel like I might need or use later on no I'm just gonna go ahead and get rid of things that I know for sure that I will never touch again so we're gonna make a to keep and I took go pal and then we're gonna go from there
Time takes a toll on everyone, they say. Time is merciless, it won't wait for us to change. Time, I am stressing out, I can't figure out what to say. Oh, time, just give us time. Time, looking back on pictures and I find it hard to see You and myself in places where we used to be Oh, time, we got older, babe And I wanna stay with you Don't get time for games Now what you wanna do? Tell me now if you will go with me all the way Every night, every day, promise will never change Okay, y'all, so I'm going to go through and show you the things that I decided to keep and the things that I'm going to throw away. All of this stuff right here came from my office, so we are going to ignore that because I'm going to tell you or show you how I'm going to incorporate it. This is a t um, just a monitor. It's not a computer, and this is a monitor stand, so I'm not going to get rid of that because I never know if I'm going to need an extra monitor, um, so I'm just going to you know, store that away. And then those are the cards, cords to go with it. These are the pillows that I keep on my couch. However, I have a furry friend who feels like he just wants to make every area of, you know, comfortable for him. So he will pull my pillows down and lay on them. And I haven't fully got him trained to leave them alone yet. So that's why they were in the closet. These are the coats that I'm going to keep. These, I showed you guys it with shirts, and then this one is like a picture, it had pictures and stuff in it. Um, both bins, I am definitely going to keep. The shirts are for my husband, so we have to figure out what he wants to do with those shirts. So these are keeps as well. DJ's um, Legos, I didn't have a place to put. Winter's Nerf gun. Um, this is stuff that came out of my office. I'll show you guys about this. So over here is the things that I'm definitely donating. I thought about trying to keep this tent. Sometimes I do pull it out, but I don't have a little girl anymore as a little boy. So I don't want him playing in the pink tent. This right here was an old punch bowl that we had. We was holding on to. Yeah, I'm going to let it go. Coats that no longer fit. Those sconces that I showed you down there is some wallpapers that I'm not going to use. Now this box of clothes, I'm not going to throw them away, nor am I going to throw away the coats. I'm going to take them to Goodwill so that I think that somebody else can use them. I hate to get rid of this clock because it belonged to my mom. However, it is broken, broken, and I was just holding on to it because of memorabilia. However, I think I'm just about to let it go because it's not working and I don't have a place for it. Over here is a sunshade. It's not actually a sunshade. It is this right here. I actually bought this to, it's a gazebo, I had it upside down. So it's like a little gazebo cover, it's not for the gazebo. I wanted to use it to cover over my deck and it was too small. I never sent it back, so yeah, I have to eat the cost. This is a gate that has missing pieces, so no need to try to sell it because I don't have the pieces for it so yeah it's going away as well so now we're going to get to work on this here and I'm going to show you the idea that I have that I'm so super excited about but um, I'm not going to get rid of that but we are going to clean it I'm not going to paint it okay let me say that again I'm not going to paint it why are you not going to paint it Amy one because we're not selling our house or anything like that and it's an area that does not get seen I am going to clean it really well but the walls 
I'm not going to paint it. This is the original color of the wall. If you get up close, you can see all of the scuff marks. That is totally fine with me. It doesn't bother me. It shouldn't bother you. I am going to clean all around the little um, trim and all of that. I'm going to show you what we're going to do to this closet. I'm excited. Okay, so I want you guys to just get a good picture of the cabinet before I actually break it down and show you what I'm going to use it for. So this is a, what is this, a nine cube cabinet that I have sitting right here in my office that just kind of houses some of the craft things that I do use, not on a daily basis, but like whenever I'm going to do a project or something like that houses my, um, what do you call that, my chalk that I use for my chalkboard up there. And then I have little um, waxes that I use for my wax melts. It's just like little ins and odds. So it, it's here honestly for decoration, but you guys know that I am so big on if, if I can see it and it looks like this, then it's kind of cluttered to me. Anything that is behind a closed door that you can't see, baby, is clean, okay? It is clean. So, I am getting ready to just revamp and repurpose, hopefully, fingers crossed, this particular cabinet. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it when I get it disassembled. So this is a nine cube that I'm going to take apart. Guys, So you remember the shelf that I just showed you guys. So I have taken that shelf apart and these are the pieces that I'm going to keep. And they are going to be assembled inside of this closet as shelves. I am so stinking excited about it because that means I did not have to go and buy any wood. Well, I did. Let me take that back. I did have to go and buy something, which was those wood, the, the wood right there. Um, it was, they're just one by twos and I got two of them to be safe. And um, they were like $3 a piece. So I ended up spending like $7 at Lowe's. But these right here, I didn't have to go out and buy wood for the shelves. And I'm so excited about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover these. I went, oh, there's another thing that I went and purchased. <laughs> ah, it's not completely free, is it, y'all? This is the shelf liner that I chose. And it's just white with a pretty brown that goes onto it. So anyway, we're going to cut these one by twos so that this will have something to sit on flush when I go to put it in. So I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. So I'm gonna measure these and we're gonna go out and we're gonna cut it and then we're gonna come in and install it. So right here you see me um, trying to teach my son how to use the table saw. He had never used a table saw before. He has used a circular saw, but not a table saw. And yes, go ahead and get on to me because neither one of us had on any protective gear. He should have had on gloves and we both should have had on some glasses, some safety goggles, and we did not. So I take full responsibility for that. That is rule number one and I broke it. So yeah, he does know to be safe when he does things like this he is in school to become a welder so he was very interested in this project with me and you will see him throughout the video a little bit because he is going to be the one actually installing these and my shelves so um yeah i'm gonna let you guys see him at his work um he is my baby he was the one that graduated this may his name is zaven and he is in college right now um learning how or studying studying welding he wants to be a underwater welder so yeah right here he was measuring to see how far you know off how high up I actually wanted the shelf. So he wanted to make sure that the placement of where he was going to put this, um, the wooden spacer or what the shelf is going to lay on was in the right area. You never took the time to say you didn't think you should explain.
So we quickly realized that when we did the first um, wood spacer, or the I, I don't know what you call them things, you know, did the wood piece, when we screwed it in, we didn't have the correct screw, which should have been a wood screw. And so it was splitting the wood. So we decided to switch from screwing it in to doing the nail gun and nailing them in. And the nail gun was much better than using the screw and gave just as much of a, a strong hold as if the screw, you know, was in there. So good call on my son's behalf. I actually want to take this time out and just shout my son out because it wasn't that I needed his help, but just the fact of him wanting to help me and it also teaching him something else that he could do, not only with his time, but, you know, teaching him that he can also do just what I would have done in preparation of becoming an adult and just getting out there and trying it was what I wanted him to get out of this whole thing. And he practically did this whole thing himself. And I'm really proud of him for wanting to know a new trade or a new skill. And just for wanting to be around his mama, because he is 18 years old, and helping me on this project. So shout out to you, son. I love you. <laughs> To settle down Day nights and late nights Don't get around But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like You're crazy for saying I should slow down But maybe I'm escaping The love we found There's something about you Something about you Y'all remember when I said I wasn't gonna paint? Mm-hmm. <laughs> So right here, I'm showing you guys that um, I'm going to utilize part of this closet to to house some of the things that I had in that cube shelf that I showed you before. So that shelf was holding some of the things that I used as crafts. Um, if you guys remember when I did my husband's man cave or I remade 
the room where my husband is actually in where his man cave is that used to be my office slash craft room so a lot of the things that was on the back wall was still used for some of my crafting and it is still some crafting stuff up there but I decided to bring down some of the things that I know that I use on a regular um, things that were already in that cube shelf so I was gonna use that in the closet or store it into the closet um, where it would be stored neatly and not in the open. Um, so this closet is actually used for a lot of things. It is used for, you know, our coats, um, is used for some of my crafting needs. This right here that I'm putting away is the wax melts that I use for my, um, for the, what do you call it? The wax. <laughs> I guess the wax milk thing that I got, you know what I'm got, like, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so it's used for a lot of things. So as you can see right here, it is very multi-purposeful and it's clean, you guys. Um, I use it for storing some of the kids' bigger toys. I tried to fit ZJ's Lego wagon in here but it was too big so I did have to go and reorganize where I do keep their toys which is underneath the TV console and I had to move some of that stuff around so that I could fit the Lego wagon under there I can't leave this Lego wagon out because Drake thinks that the Lego pieces are for him because when ZJ comes over and plays with this Drake is usually right there playing too so I had to put these away so Drake wouldn't destroy them. you see I'm bound and determined to make it happen it's not gonna happen Amy um but I did end up moving some things around so as you can see this closet is multi purposed and I couldn't be more pleased with the outcome I'm able to one see what I have in there to use the closet for what it is supposed to be used for and the way that it was done and how it was affordable to me ah oh, chef's kiss you guys like I was so excited that the idea I had in my head actually worked like that was something grand altogether. So here is the before of the closet and the after is amazing. It is so amazing. I'm so thankful that I was able to think of this. And if you guys have ever done anything like this before, please let me know below. And if you are going to attempt to try something like this, also let me know. Um, it was very affordable because I used things that I already had. And you guys know I'm very, very big on that. Something that is not working for me in another room i could always use it probably in another room instead of just getting you know just doing away with it it's always something somewhere that i know that i could reuse again so I want to thank you guys for joining me on the, today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comment section what you think of the outcome of this closet. And if you really like it, make sure that you subscribe to my channel because there's going to be more to come. Thank you guys so much for everything that you do. I hope you have a great week. Remember to love yourselves and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you.